The Proverbs of Solomon the Son of David, King of Israel To know wisdom and instruction, to discern the sayings of understanding. To receive instruction in wise behavior, righteousness, justice, and integrity. To give prudence to the naive, to the youth knowledge and discretion. A wise person will hear an increase in learning, and a person of understanding will acquire wise counsel. To understand a proverb and a saying, the words of the wise and their riddles. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, fools despise wisdom and instruction. Listen, my son, to your father's instruction, and do not ignore your mother's teaching. For they are a graceful wreath for your head and necklaces for your neck. My son, if sinners entice you, do not consent. If they say, Come with us, let's lie in wait for blood, let's ambush the innocent without cause, twelve let's swallow them alive like Sheol, even whole, like those who go down to the pit. We will find all kinds of precious wealth, we will fill our houses with plunder. Throw in your lot with us, we will all have one money bag. My son, do not walk on the way with them. Keep your feet from their path. For their feet run to evil, and they are quick to shed blood. Indeed, it is useless to spread the baited net in the sight of any bird. But they lie in wait for their own blood, they ambush their own lives. Such are the ways of everyone who makes unjust gain, it takes away the life of its possessors. Wisdom shouts in the street, she raises her voice in the public square. At the head of the noisy street she cries out, at the entrance of the gates in the city she declares her sayings. How long, you naive ones, will you love simplistic thinking? And how long will scoffers delight themselves in scoffing and fools hate knowledge? Turn to my rebuke, behold, I will pour out my spirit on you, I will make my words known to you. Because I called and you refused, I stretched out my hand and no one paid attention. And you neglected all my advice and did not want my rebuke. I will also laugh at your disaster, I will mock when your dread comes. When your dread comes like a storm and your disaster comes like a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you. Then they will call on me, but I will not answer, they will seek me diligently but will not find me. Because they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They did not accept my advice, they disdainfully rejected every rebuke from me. So they shall eat of the fruit of their own way, and be filled with their own schemes. For the faithlessness of the naive will kill them, and the complacency of fools will destroy them. But whoever listens to me will live securely and will be at ease from the dread of evil. My son, if you will receive my words and treasure my commandments within you. Make your ear attentive to wisdom, incline your heart to understanding. For if you cry out for insight, and raise your voice for understanding. If you seek her as silver and search for her as for hidden treasures. Then you will understand the fear of the Lord, and discover the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom, from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He stores up sound wisdom for the upright, he is a shield to those who walk in integrity. Guarding the paths of justice, and he watches over the way of his godly ones. Then you will discern righteousness, justice, and integrity, and every good path. For wisdom will enter your heart, and knowledge will be delightful to your soul. Discretion will watch over you, understanding will guard you. To rescue you from the way of evil, from a person who speaks perverse things. From those who leave the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness. Who delight in doing evil and rejoice in the perversity of evil whose paths are crooked, and who are devious in their ways. 
to rescue you from the strange woman, from the foreign woman who flatters with her words, who leaves the companion of her youth and forgets the covenant of her God. For her house sinks down to death, and her tracks lead to the dead. None who go to her return, nor do they reach the paths of life. So you will walk in the way of good people and keep to the paths of the righteous. For the upright will live in the land, and the blameless will remain in it. But the wicked will be eliminated from the land, and the treacherous will be torn away from it. My son, do not forget my teaching, but have your heart comply with my commandments. For length of days and years of life and peace they will add to you. Do not let kindness and truth leave you, bind them around your neck, write them on the tablet of your heart. So you will find favor and a good reputation in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your body and refreshment to your bones. Honor the Lord from your wealth, and from the first of all your produce. Then your barns will be filled with plenty, and your vats will overflow with new wine. My son, do not reject the discipline of the Lord or loathe his rebuke. For whom the Lord loves he disciplines, just as a father disciplines the son in whom he delights. Blessed is a person who finds wisdom, and one who obtains understanding. For her profit is better than the profit of silver, and her produce better than gold. She is more precious than jewels, and nothing you desire compares with her. Long life is in her right hand, in her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her, and happy are those who hold on to her. The Lord founded the earth by wisdom, He established the heavens by understanding. By His knowledge the ocean depths were burst open, and the clouds drip with dew. My son, see that they do not escape from your sight, comply with sound wisdom and discretion. And they will be life to your soul and adornment to your neck. Then you will walk in your way securely, and your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid, when you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden danger, nor of trouble from the wicked when it comes. For the Lord will be your confidence, and will keep your foot from being caught. Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due, when it is in your power to do it. Do not say to your neighbor, Go, and come back, and tomorrow I will give it to you, when you have it with you. Do not devise harm against your neighbor, while he lives securely beside you. Do not contend with a person for no reason, if he has done you no harm. Do not envy a violent person, and do not choose any of his ways. For the devious are an abomination to the Lord, but he is intimate with the upright. The curse of the Lord is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the home of the righteous. Though he scoffs at the scoffers, yet he gives grace to the needy. The wise will inherit honor, but fools increase dishonor. Listen, my sons, to the instruction of a father, and pay attention so that you may gain understanding. For I give you good teaching, do not abandon my instruction. When I was a son to my father, tender and the only son in the sight of my mother, he taught me and said to me, Let your heart take hold of my words, keep my commandments and live. Acquire wisdom. Acquire understanding. Do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not abandon her, and she will guard you, love her, and she will watch over you. The beginning of wisdom is, acquire wisdom, and with all your possessions, 
acquire understanding. Prize her, and she will exalt you, she will honor you if you embrace her. 9. She will place on your head a garland of grace, she will present you with a crown of beauty. 10. Listen, my son, and accept my sayings, and the years of your life will be many. I have instructed you in the way of wisdom, I have led you in upright paths. When you walk, your steps will not be hampered, and if you run, you will not stumble. Take hold of instruction, do not let go. Guard her, for she is your life. Do not enter the path of the wicked and do not proceed in the way of evil people. Avoid it, do not pass by it, turn away from it and pass on. For they cannot sleep unless they do evil, and they are robbed of sleep unless they make someone stumble. For they eat the bread of wickedness, and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn that shines brighter and brighter until the full day. The way of the wicked is like darkness, they do not know over what they stumble. My son, pay attention to my words, incline your ear to my sayings. They are not to escape from your sight, keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life to those who find them, and healing to all their body. Watch over your heart with all diligence, for from it flow the springs of life. Rid yourself of a deceitful mouth and keep devious speech far from you. Let your eyes look directly ahead and let your gaze be fixed straight in front of you. Watch the path of your feet, and all your ways will be established. Do not turn to the right or to the left, turn your foot from evil. My son, Pay attention to my wisdom, incline your ear to my understanding. So that you may maintain discretion and your lips may comply with knowledge. For the lips of an adulteress drip honey, and her speech is smoother than oil. But in the end she is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death, her steps take hold of Sheol. She does not ponder the path of life. Her ways are unstable, she does not know it. Now then, my sons, listen to me and do not turn away from the words of my mouth. Keep your way far from her, and do not go near the door of her house. Otherwise you will give your vigor to others, and your years to the cruel one. And strangers will be filled with your strength, and your hard-earned possessions will go to the house of a foreigner. And you will groan in the end, when your flesh and your body are consumed. And you say, how I hated instruction. And my heart disdainfully rejected rebuke. I did not listen to the voice of my teachers, nor incline my ear to my instructors. I was almost in total ruin in the midst of the assembly and congregation. Drink water from your own cistern, and fresh water from your own well. Should your springs overflow into the street, streams of water in the public squares? Let them be yours alone, and not for strangers with you. Let your fountain be blessed, and rejoice in the wife of your youth. Like a loving doe and a graceful mountain goat, let her breasts satisfy you at all times, be exhilarated always with her love. For why should you, my son, be exhilarated with an adulteress, and embrace the breasts of a foreigner? For the ways of everyone are before the eyes of the Lord, and he observes all his paths. His own wrongdoings will trap the wicked, and he will be held by the ropes of his sin. He will die for lack of instruction, and in the greatness of his foolishness he will go astray. My son, if you have become a guarantor for your neighbor, or have given a handshake for a stranger. If you have been ensnared by the words of your mouth, or caught by the words of your mouth. Then do this, my son, and save yourself, since you have come into the hand of your neighbor, go, humble yourself, and be urgent with your neighbor to free yourself. Give no sleep to your eyes, nor slumber to your eyelids. 
Save yourself like a gazelle from the hunter's hand, and like a bird from the hand of the fowler. Go to the ant, you lazy one, observe its ways and be wise. Which, having no chief, officer, or ruler, prepares its food in the summer and gathers its provision in the harvest. How long will you lie down, you lazy one? When will you arise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. Then your poverty will come in like a drifter, and your need like an armed man. A worthless person, a wicked man, is one who walks with a perverse mouth. Who winks with his eyes, who signals with his feet, who points with his fingers. Who, with perversion in his heart, continually devises evil, who spreads strife. Therefore his disaster will come suddenly, instantly he will be broken and there will be no healing. There are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are an abomination to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. A heart that devises wicked plans, feet that run rapidly to evil. A false witness who declares lies, and one who spreads strife among brothers. My son, comply with the commandment of your father, and do not ignore the teaching of your mother. Bind them continually on your heart, tie them around your neck. When you walk, they will guide you, when you sleep, they will watch over you, and when you awake, they will talk to you. For the commandment is a lamp and the teaching is light, and rebukes for discipline are the way of life. To keep you from the evil woman, from the smooth tongue of the foreign woman. Do not desire her beauty in your heart, nor let her capture you with her eyelids. For the price of a prostitute reduces one to a loaf of bread, and an adulteress hunts for a precious life. Can anyone take fire in his lap and his clothes not be burned? Or can a person walk on hot coals and his feet not be scorched? So, is the one who goes in to his neighbor's wife, whoever touches her will not go unpunished. People do not despise a thief if he steals to satisfy himself when he is hungry. But when he is found, he must repay seven times as much, he must give up all the property of his house. One who commits adultery with a woman is lacking sense, he who would destroy himself commits it. He will find wounds and disgrace, and his shame will not be removed. For jealousy enrages a man, and he will not have compassion on the day of vengeance. He will not accept any settlement, nor will he be satisfied though you make it a large gift. My son, keep my words and treasure my commandments within you. Keep my commandments and live, and my teaching as the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers, write them on the tablet of your heart. Say to wisdom, You are my sister, and call understanding your intimate friend. So that they may keep you from an adulteress, from the foreigner who flatters with her words. For at the window of my house I looked out through my lattice. And I saw among the naive, and discerned among the youths a young man lacking sense. Passing through the street near her corner, and he walks along the way to her house. In the twilight, in the evening, in the middle of the night and the darkness. And behold, a woman comes to meet him, dressed as a prostitute in cunning of heart. She is boisterous and rebellious, her feet do not remain at home. She is now in the streets, now in the public squares, and lurks by every corner. So she seizes him and kisses him, and with a brazen face she says to him, I was due to offer peace offerings, today I have paid my vows. Therefore I have come out to meet you, to seek your presence diligently, and I have found you. I have spread my couch with coverings, with colored linens of Egypt. I have sprinkled my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. 
Come, let's drink our fill of love until morning, let's delight ourselves with caresses. For my husband is not at home, he has gone on a long journey. He has taken a bag of money with him. At the full moon he will come home. With her many persuasions she entices him, with her flattering lips she seduces him. Suddenly he follows her as an ox goes to the slaughter, or as one walks in ankle bracelets to the discipline of a fool. Until an arrow pierces through his liver, as a bird hurries to the snare, so he does not know that it will cost him his life. Now therefore, my sons, listen to me, and pay attention to the words of my mouth. Do not let your heart turn aside to her ways, do not stray into her paths. For many are the victims she has brought to ruin, and numerous are all those slaughtered by her. Her house is the way to Sheol, descending to the chambers of death. Does not wisdom call, and understanding raise her voice? On top of the heights beside the way, where the paths meet, she takes her stand. Beside the gates, at the opening to the city, at the entrance of the doors, she cries out. To you, people, I call, and my voice is to mankind. You naive ones, understand prudence, and, you fools, understand wisdom. Listen, for I will speak noble things, and the opening of my lips will reveal right things. For my mouth will proclaim truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness, there is nothing crooked or perverted in them. They are all straightforward to him who understands, and right to those who find knowledge. Accept my instruction and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than jewels, and all desirable things cannot compare with her. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence, and I find knowledge and discretion. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, arrogance, the evil way, and the perverted mouth, I hate. Advice is mine in sound wisdom, I am understanding, power is mine. By me kings reign, and rulers decree justice. By me princes rule, and nobles, all who judge rightly. I love those who love me, and those who diligently seek me will find me. Riches and honor are with me, enduring wealth and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, even pure gold, and my yield better than choice silver. I walk in the way of righteousness, in the midst of the paths of justice. To endow those who love me with wealth, that I may fill their treasuries. The Lord created me at the beginning of His way, before His works of old. From eternity I was established, from the beginning, from the earliest times of the earth. When there were no ocean depths, I was born, when there were no springs abounding with water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills, I was born. While he had not yet made the earth and the fields, nor the first dust of the world. When he established the heavens, I was there, when he inscribed a circle on the face of the deep. When he made firm the skies above, when the springs of the deep became fixed. When he set a boundary for the sea so that the water would not violate his command, when he marked out the foundations of the earth. Then I was beside him, as a master workman, and I was his delight daily, rejoicing always before him. Rejoicing in the world, his earth, and having my delight in the sons of mankind. Now then, sons, listen to me, for blessed are those who keep my ways. Listen to instruction and be wise, and do not neglect it. Blessed is the person who listens to me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at my doorposts. For one who finds me finds life, and obtains favor from the Lord. But one who sins against me injures himself, all those who hate me love death. 
Wisdom has built her house, she has carved out her seven pillars. She has prepared her food, she has mixed her wine, she has also set her table. She has sent out her attendants, she calls out from the tops of the heights of the city. Whoever is naive, let him turn in here. To him who lacks understanding she says. Come, eat of my food and drink of the wine I have mixed. Abandon your foolishness and live, and proceed in the way of understanding. One who corrects a scoffer gets dishonor for himself, and one who rebukes a wicked person gets insults for himself. Do not rebuke a scoffer, or he will hate you, rebuke a wise person and he will love you. Give instruction to a wise person and he will become still wiser, teach a righteous person and he will increase his insight. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. For by me your days will be multiplied, and years of life will be added to you. If you are wise, you are wise for yourself, and if you scoff, you alone will suffer from it. A woman of foolishness is boisterous, she has a lack of understanding and knows nothing. She sits at the doorway of her house, on a seat by the high places of the city. Calling to those who pass by, who are going straight on their paths. Whoever is naive, let him turn in here, and to him who lacks understanding she says. Stolen water is sweet, and bread eaten in secret is pleasant. But he does not know that the dead are there, that her guests are in the depths of Sheol. The Proverbs of Solomon A wise son makes a father glad, but a foolish son is a grief to his mother. Ill-gotten gains do not benefit, but righteousness rescues from death. The Lord will not allow the righteous to hunger, but he will reject the craving of the wicked. Poor is one who works with a lazy hand, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. He who gathers in summer is a son who acts wisely, but he who sleeps in harvest is a son who acts shamefully. Blessings are on the head of the righteous, but the mouth of the wicked conceals violence. The mentioning of the righteous is a blessing, but the name of the wicked will rot. The wise of heart will receive commands, but a babbling fool will come to ruin. One who walks in integrity walks securely, but one who perverts his ways will be found out. He who winks the eye causes trouble, and a babbling fool will come to ruin. The mouth of the righteous is a fountain of life, but the mouth of the wicked conceals violence. Hatred stirs up strife, but love covers all offenses. On the lips of the discerning, wisdom is found, but a rod is for the back of him who has no sense. Wise people store up knowledge, but with the mouth of the foolish, ruin is at hand. The rich person's wealth is his fortress, the ruin of the poor is their poverty. The wages of the righteous is life, the income of the wicked, punishment. One who is on the path of life follows instruction, but one who ignores a rebuke goes astray. One who conceals hatred has lying lips, and one who spreads slander is a fool. When there are many words, wrongdoing is unavoidable, but one who restrains his lips is wise. The tongue of the righteous is like choice silver, the heart of the wicked is worth little. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for lack of understanding. It is the blessing of the Lord that makes rich, and he adds no sorrow to it. Doing wickedness is like sport to a fool, and so is wisdom to a person of understanding. What the wicked fears will come upon him, but the desire of the righteous will be granted. When the whirlwind passes, the wicked is no more, but the righteous has an everlasting foundation. Like vinegar to the teeth and smoke to the eyes, so is the lazy one to those who send him. The fear of the Lord prolongs life, but the years of the wicked will be shortened. 
The hope of the righteous is gladness, but the expectation of the wicked perishes. The way of the Lord is a stronghold for the upright, but ruin to the workers of injustice. The righteous will never be shaken, but the wicked will not live in the land. The mouth of the righteous flows with wisdom, but the perverted tongue will be cut out. The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable, but the mouth of the wicked, what is perverted. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. When pride comes, then comes dishonor, but with the humble there is wisdom. The integrity of the upright will guide them, but the perversity of the treacherous will destroy them. Riches do not benefit on the day of wrath, but righteousness rescues from death. The righteousness of the blameless will smooth his way, but the wicked will fall by his own wickedness. The righteousness of the upright will rescue them, but the treacherous will be caught by their own greed. When a wicked person dies, his expectation will perish, and the hope of strong people perishes. The righteous is rescued from trouble, but the wicked takes his place. With his mouth the godless person destroys his neighbor, but through knowledge the righteous will be rescued. When things go well for the righteous, the city rejoices, and when the wicked perish, there is joyful shouting. By the blessing of the upright a city is exalted, but by the mouth of the wicked, it is torn down. One who despises his neighbor lacks sense, but a person of understanding keeps silent. One who goes about as a slanderer reveals secrets, but one who is trustworthy conceals a matter. Where there is no guidance the people fall, but in an abundance of counselors there is victory. One who is a guarantor for a stranger will certainly suffer for it, but one who hates being a guarantor is secure. A gracious woman attains honor, and ruthless men attain riches. A merciful person does himself good, but the cruel person does himself harm. A wicked person earns deceptive wages, but one who sows righteousness gets a true reward. One who is steadfast in righteousness attains life, but one who pursues evil attains his own death. The perverse in heart are an abomination to the Lord, but the blameless in their walk are his delight. Be assured, the evil person will not go unpunished, but the descendants of the righteous will be rescued. As a ring of gold in a pig's snout so is a beautiful woman who lacks discretion. The desire of the righteous is only good, but the expectation of the wicked is wrath. There is one who scatters, and yet increases all the more, and there is one who withholds what is justly due, and yet it results only in poverty. A generous person will be prosperous, and one who gives others plenty of water will himself be given plenty. One who withholds grain, the people will curse him, but blessing will be on the head of him who sells it. One who diligently seeks good seeks favor, but one who seeks evil, evil will come to him. One who trusts in his riches will fall, but the righteous will flourish like the green leaf. One who troubles his own house will inherit wind, and the foolish will be servant to the wise-hearted. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and one who is wise gains souls. If the righteous will be repaid on the earth, how much more the wicked and the sinner. One who loves discipline loves knowledge, but one who hates rebuke is stupid. A good person will obtain favor from the Lord, but he will condemn a person who devises evil. A person will not be established by wickedness, but the root of the righteous will not be moved. An excellent wife is the crown of her husband, but she who shames him is like rottenness in his bones. The thoughts of the righteous are just, but the counsels of the wicked are deceitful. The words of the wicked wait in ambush for blood, but the mouth of the upright will rescue them. The wicked are overthrown and are no more, but the house of the righteous will stand. 
A person will be praised according to his insight, but one of perverse mind will be despised. Better is one who is lightly esteemed and has a servant, than one who honors himself and lacks bread. A righteous person has regard for the life of his animal, but even the compassion of the wicked is cruel. One who works his land will have plenty of bread, but one who pursues worthless things lacks sense. The wicked person desires the plunder of evil people, but the root of the righteous yields fruit. An evil person is ensnared by the offense of his lips, but the righteous will escape from trouble. A person will be satisfied with good by the fruit of his words, and the deeds of a person's hands will return to him. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but a person who listens to advice is wise. A fool's anger is known at once, but a prudent person conceals dishonor. One who declares truth tells what is right, but a false witness, deceit. There is one who speaks rashly like the thrusts of a sword, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Truthful lips will endure forever, but a lying tongue is only for a moment. Deceit is in the heart of those who devise evil, but counselors of peace have joy. No harm happens to the righteous, but the wicked are filled with trouble. Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but those who deal faithfully are his delight. A prudent person conceals knowledge, but the heart of fools proclaims foolishness. The hand of the diligent will rule, but the lazy hand will be put to forced labor. Anxiety in a person's heart weighs it down, but a good word makes it glad. The righteous person is a guide to his neighbor, but the way of the wicked leads them astray. 27 A lazy person does not roast his prey, but the precious possession of a person is diligence. 28 Inches the way of righteousness there is life, and in its pathway there is no death. A wise son accepts his father's discipline, but a scoffer does not listen to rebuke. From the fruit of a person's mouth he enjoys good, but the desire of the treacherous is violence. One who guards his mouth protects his life, one who opens wide his lips comes to ruin. The soul of the lazy one craves and gets nothing, but the soul of the diligent is made prosperous. A righteous person hates a false statement, but a wicked person acts disgustingly and shamefully. Righteousness guards the one whose way is blameless, but wickedness brings the sinner to ruin. There is one who pretends to be rich but has nothing, another pretends to be poor, but has great wealth. The ransom of a person's life is his wealth, but the poor hears no rebuke. The light of the righteous rejoices, but the lamp of the wicked goes out. Through overconfidence comes nothing but strife, but wisdom is with those who receive counsel. Wealth obtained from nothing dwindles, but one who gathers by labor increases it. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but desire fulfilled is a tree of life. One who despises the word will do badly, but one who fears the commandment will be rewarded. The teaching of the wise is a fountain of life, to turn aside from the snares of death. Good understanding produces favor, but the way of the treacherous is their own disaster. Every prudent person acts with knowledge, but a fool displays foolishness. A wicked messenger falls into adversity, but a faithful messenger brings healing. Poverty and shame will come to one who neglects discipline, but one who complies with rebuke will be honored. Desire realized is sweet to the soul, but it is an abomination to fools to turn away from evil. One who walks with wise people will be wise, but a companion of fools will suffer harm. Adversity pursues sinners, but the righteous will be rewarded with prosperity. A good person leaves an inheritance to his grandchildren, and the wealth of a sinner is stored up for the righteous. Abundant food is in the uncultivated ground of the poor, 
but it is swept away by injustice. He who withholds his rod hates his son, but he who loves him disciplines him diligently. The righteous has enough to satisfy his appetite, but the stomach of the wicked is in need. The wise woman builds her house, but the foolish tears it down with her own hands. One who walks in his uprightness fears the Lord, but one who is devious in his ways despises him. In the mouth of the foolish is a rod for his back, but the lips of the wise will protect them. Where there are no oxen, the manger is clean, but much revenue comes by the strength of the ox. A trustworthy witness will not lie, but a false witness declares lies. A scoffer seeks wisdom and finds none, but knowledge is easy for one who has understanding. Leave the presence of a fool, or you will not discern words of knowledge. The wisdom of the sensible is to understand his way, but the foolishness of fools is deceit. Fools mock at sin, but among the upright there is goodwill. The heart knows its own bitterness, and a stranger does not share its joy. The house of the wicked will be destroyed, but the tent of the upright will flourish. There is a way which seems right to a person, but its end is the way of death. Even in laughter the heart may be in pain, and the end of joy may be grief. One with a wayward heart will have his fill of his own ways, but a good person will be satisfied with his. The naive believes everything, but the sensible person considers his steps. A wise person is cautious and turns away from evil, but a fool is arrogant and careless. A quick-tempered person acts foolishly, and a person of evil devices is hated. The naive inherit foolishness, but the sensible are crowned with knowledge. The evil will bow down before the good, and the wicked at the gates of the righteous. The poor is hated even by his neighbor, but those who love the rich are many. One who despises his neighbor sins, but one who is gracious to the poor is blessed. Will they who devise evil not go astray? But kindness and truth will be to those who devise good. In all labor there is profit, but mere talk leads only to poverty. The crown of the wise is their riches, but the foolishness of fools is simply foolishness. A truthful witness saves lives, but one who declares lies is deceitful. In the fear of the Lord there is strong confidence, and his children will have refuge. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life, by which one may avoid the snares of death. In a multitude of people is a king's glory, but in the scarcity of people is a prince's ruin. One who is slow to anger has great understanding, but one who is quick-tempered exalts foolishness. A tranquil heart is life to the body, but jealousy is rottenness to the bones. One who oppresses the poor taunts his maker, but one who is gracious to the needy honors him. The wicked is thrust down by his own wrongdoing, but the righteous has a refuge when he dies. Wisdom rests in the heart of one who has understanding, but among fools it is made known. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a disgrace to any people. The king's favor is toward a servant who acts wisely, but his anger is toward him who acts shamefully. A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. The tongue of the wise makes knowledge pleasant, but the mouth of fools spouts foolishness. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, watching the evil and the good. A soothing tongue is a tree of life, but perversion in it crushes the spirit. A fool rejects his father's discipline, but he who complies with rebuke is sensible. Great wealth is in the house of the righteous, but trouble is in the income of the wicked. The lips of the wise spread knowledge, but the hearts of fools are not so. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. 
The way of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but he loves the one who pursues righteousness. There is severe punishment for one who abandons the way, one who hates a rebuke will die. Sheol and Abaddon lie open before the Lord, how much more the hearts of mankind. A scoffer does not love one who rebukes him, he will not go to the wise. A joyful heart makes a cheerful face, but when the heart is sad, the spirit is broken. The mind of the intelligent seeks knowledge, but the mouth of fools feeds on foolishness. All the days of the needy are bad, but a cheerful heart has a continual feast. Better is a little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure, and turmoil with the treasure. Better is a portion of vegetables where there is love, than a fattened ox served with hatred. A hot-tempered person stirs up strife, but the slow to anger calms a dispute. The way of the lazy one is like a hedge of thorns, but the path of the upright is a highway. A wise son makes a father glad, but a foolish man despises his mother. Foolishness is joy to one who lacks sense, but a person of understanding walks straight. Without consultation, plans are frustrated, but with many counselors they succeed. A person has joy in an apt answer, and how delightful is a timely word. The path of life leads upward for the wise, so that he may keep away from Sheol below. The Lord will tear down the house of the proud, but he will set the boundary of the widow. Evil plans are an abomination to the Lord, but pleasant words are pure. He who profits illicitly troubles his own house, but he who hates bribes will live. The heart of the righteous ponders how to answer, but the mouth of the wicked pours out evil things. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. Bright eyes gladden the heart, good news refreshes the bones. One whose ear listens to a life-giving rebuke will stay among the wise. One who neglects discipline rejects himself, but one who listens to a rebuke acquires understanding. The fear of the Lord is the instruction for wisdom, and before honor comes humility. The plans of the heart belong to a person, but the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. All the ways of a person are clean in his own sight, but the Lord examines the motives. Commit your works to the Lord, and your plans will be established. The Lord has made everything for its own purpose, even the wicked for the day of evil. Everyone who is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord, be assured, he will not go unpunished. By mercy and truth atonement is made for wrongdoing, and by the fear of the Lord one keeps away from evil. When a person's ways are pleasing to the Lord, he causes even his enemies to make peace with him. Better is a little with righteousness than great income with injustice. The mind of a person plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. A divine verdict is on the lips of the king, his mouth should not err in judgment. A just balance and scales belong to the Lord, all the weights of the bag are his concern. It is an abomination for kings to commit wicked acts, because a throne is established on righteousness. Righteous lips are the delight of kings, and one who speaks right is loved. The fury of a king is like messengers of death, but a wise person will appease it. In the light of a king's face is life, and his favor is like a cloud with the spring rain. How much better it is to get wisdom than gold. And to get understanding is to be chosen above silver. The highway of the upright is to turn away from evil, one who watches his way protects his life. 18 Pride goes before destruction, and a haughty spirit before stumbling. It is better to be humble in spirit with the needy than to divide the spoils with the proud. One who pays attention to the word will find good, and blessed is one who trusts in the Lord. 
The wise in heart will be called understanding, and sweetness of speech increases persuasiveness. Understanding is a fountain of life to those who have it, but the discipline of fools is foolishness. The heart of the wise instructs his mouth and adds persuasiveness to his lips. Pleasant words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. There is a way which seems right to a person, but its end is the way of death. A worker's appetite works for him, for his hunger urges him on. A worthless person digs up evil, while his words are like scorching fire. A perverse person spreads strife, and a slanderer separates close friends. A person of violence entices his neighbor and leads him in a way that is not good. He who winks his eyes does so to devise perverse things, he who compresses his lips brings evil to pass. A gray head is a crown of glory, it is found in the way of righteousness. One who is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and one who rules his spirit, than one who captures a city. The lot is cast into the lap, but its every decision is from the Lord. Better is a dry morsel and quietness with it than a house full of feasting with strife. A servant who acts wisely will rule over a son who acts shamefully, and will share in the inheritance among brothers. The refining pot is for silver and the furnace for gold, but the Lord tests hearts. An evildoer listens to wicked lips, a liar pays attention to a destructive tongue. One who mocks the poor taunts his maker, one who rejoices at disaster will not go unpunished. Grandchildren are the crown of the old, and the glory of sons is their fathers. Excellent speech is not fitting for a fool, much less are lying lips to a prince. A bribe is a charm in the sight of its owner, wherever he turns, he prospers. One who conceals an offense seeks love, but one who repeats a matter separates close friends. A rebuke goes deeper into one who has understanding than a hundred blows into a fool. A rebellious person seeks only evil, so a cruel messenger will be sent against him. Let a person meet a bear robbed of her cubs, rather than a fool in his foolishness. One who returns evil for good, evil will not depart from his house. The beginning of strife is like letting out water, so abandon the quarrel before it breaks out. One who justifies the wicked and one who condemns the righteous, both of them alike are an abomination to the Lord. Why is there money in the hand of a fool to buy wisdom, when he has no sense? A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. A person lacking in sense shakes hands and becomes guarantor in the presence of his neighbor. One who loves wrongdoing loves strife, one who makes his doorway high seeks destruction. One who has a crooked mind finds nothing good, and one who is corrupted in his language falls into evil. He who fathers a fool does so to his sorrow, and the father of a fool has no joy. A joyful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit dries up the bones. A wicked person accepts a bribe from an inside pocket to pervert the ways of justice. Wisdom is in the presence of one who has understanding, but the eyes of a fool are on the ends of the earth. A foolish son is a grief to his father, and bitterness to her who gave birth to him. It is also not good to find the righteous, nor to strike the noble for their uprightness. One who withholds his words has knowledge, and one who has a cool spirit is a person of understanding. Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered wise, when he closes his lips, he is considered prudent. One who separates himself seeks his own desire, he quarrels against all sound wisdom. A fool does not delight in understanding, but in revealing his own mind. When a wicked person comes, contempt also comes, and with dishonor comes taunting. 
The words of a person's mouth are deep waters, the fountain of wisdom is a bubbling brook. To show partiality to the wicked is not good, nor to suppress the righteous in judgment. A fool's lips bring strife, and his mouth invites beatings. A fool's mouth is his ruin, and his lips are the snare of his soul. The words of a gossiper are like dainty morsels, and they go down into the innermost parts of the body. He also who is lax in his work is a brother to him who destroys. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous runs into it and is safe. A rich person's wealth is his strong city, and like a high wall in his own imagination. Before destruction the heart of a person is haughty, but humility goes before honor. One who gives an answer before he hears, it is foolishness and shame to him. The spirit of a person can endure his sickness, but as for a broken spirit, who can endure it? The mind of the discerning acquires knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeks knowledge. A person's gift makes room for him and brings him before great people. The first to plead his case seems right, until another comes and examines him. The cast lot puts an end to quarrels, and decides between the mighty ones. A brother who is offended is harder to be won than a strong city, and quarrels are like the bars of a citadel. With the fruit of a person's mouth his stomach will be satisfied, he will be satisfied with the product of his lips. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. A poor person utters pleadings, but a rich person answers defiantly. A person of too many friends comes to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Better is a poor person who walks in his integrity than a person who is perverse in speech and is a fool. Also it is not good for a person to be without knowledge, and one who hurries his footsteps errs. The foolishness of a person ruins his way, and his heart rages against the Lord. Wealth adds many friends, but a poor person is separated from his friend. A false witness will not go unpunished, and one who declares lies will not escape. Many will seek the favor of a generous person, and every person is a friend to him who gives gifts. All the brothers of a poor person hate him, how much more do his friends abandon him? He pursues them with words, but they are gone. One who gets wisdom loves his own soul, one who keeps understanding will find good. A false witness will not go unpunished, and one who declares lies will perish. Luxury is not fitting for a fool, much less for a slave to rule over princes. A person's discretion makes him slow to anger, and it is his glory to overlook an offense. A king's wrath is like the roaring of a lion, but his favor is like dew on the grass. A foolish son is destruction to his father, and the quarrels of a wife are a constant dripping. House and wealth are an inheritance from fathers, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. Laziness casts one into a deep sleep, and a lazy person will suffer hunger. One who keeps the commandment keeps his soul, but one who is careless of conduct will die. One who is gracious to a poor person lends to the Lord, and he will repay him for his good deed. Discipline your son while there is hope, and do not desire his death. A person of great anger will suffer the penalty, for if you rescue him, you will only have to do it again. Listen to advice and accept discipline, so that you may be wise the rest of your days. Many plans are in a person's heart, but the advice of the Lord will stand. What is desirable in a person is his kindness, and it is better to be a poor person than a liar. The fear of the Lord leads to life, so that one may sleep satisfied, untouched by evil. The lazy one buries his hand in the dish, 
but will not even bring it back to his mouth. Strike a scoffer and the naive may become clever, but rebuke one who has understanding, and he will gain knowledge. He who assaults his father and drives his mother away is a shameful and disgraceful son. Stop listening, my son, to discipline, and you will stray from the words of knowledge. A worthless witness makes a mockery of justice, and the mouth of the wicked swallows wrongdoing. Judgments are prepared for scoffers, and beatings for the backs of fools. Wine is a mocker, intoxicating drink a brawler, and whoever is intoxicated by it is not wise. The terror of a king is like the roaring of a lion, one who provokes him to anger forfeits his own life. Avoiding strife is an honor for a person, but any fool will quarrel. The lazy one does not plow after the autumn, so he begs during the harvest and has nothing. A plan in the heart of a person is like deep water, but a person of understanding draws it out. Many a person proclaims his own loyalty, but who can find a trustworthy person? A righteous person who walks in his integrity, how blessed are his sons after him. A king who sits on the throne of justice disperses all evil with his eyes. Who can say, I have cleansed my heart, I am pure from my sin. Differing weights and differing measures, both of them are abominable to the Lord. It is by his deeds that a boy distinguishes himself, if his conduct is pure and right. The hearing ear and the seeing eye, the Lord has made both of them. Do not love sleep, or you will become poor, open your eyes, and you will be satisfied with food. Bad, bad, says the buyer, but when he goes his way, then he boasts. There is gold, and an abundance of jewels, but lips of knowledge are a more precious thing. Take his garment when he becomes guarantor for a stranger, and for foreigners, seize a pledge from him. Bread obtained by a lie is sweet to a person, but afterward his mouth will be filled with gravel. Prepare plans by consultation, and make war by wise guidance. One who goes about as a slanderer reveals secrets, therefore do not associate with a gossip. He who curses his father or his mother, his lamp will go out in time of darkness. An inheritance gained in a hurry at the beginning will not be blessed in the end. Do not say, I will repay evil, wait for the Lord, and he will save you. Differing weights are an abomination to the Lord, and a false scale is not good. A man's steps are ordained by the Lord, how then can a person understand his way? It is a trap for a person to say carelessly, it is holy and after the vows to make inquiry. A wise king scatters the wicked, and drives a threshing wheel over them. The spirit of a person is the lamp of the Lord, searching all the innermost parts of his being. Loyalty and truth watch over the king, and he upholds his throne by loyalty. The glory of young men is their strength, and the honor of old men is their gray hair. Bruising wounds clean away evil, and blows cleanse the innermost parts. The king's heart is like channels of water in the hand of the Lord, he turns it wherever he pleases. Every person's way is right in his own eyes, but the Lord examines the hearts. To do righteousness and justice is preferred by the Lord more than sacrifice. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the lamp of the wicked, is sin. The plans of the diligent certainly lead to advantage, but everyone who is in a hurry certainly comes to poverty. The acquisition of treasures by a lying tongue is a fleeting vapor, the pursuit of death. The violence of the wicked will sweep them away, because they refuse to act with justice. The way of a guilty person is crooked, but as for the pure, his conduct is upright. It is better to live on a corner of a roof than in a house shared with a contentious woman. 
The soul of the wicked desires evil, his neighbor is shown no compassion in his eyes. When the scoffer is punished, the naive becomes wise, but when the wise is instructed, he receives knowledge. The righteous one considers the house of the wicked, bringing the wicked to ruin. One who shuts his ear to the outcry of the poor will also call out himself, and not be answered. A gift in secret subdues anger, and a bribe in an inside pocket, strong wrath. The exercise of justice is joy for the righteous, but terror to those who practice injustice. A person who wanders from the way of understanding will rest in the assembly of the dead. One who loves pleasure will become a poor person, one who loves wine and oil will not become rich. The wicked is a ransom for the righteous, and the treacherous is in the place of the upright. It is better to live in a desert land than with a contentious and irritating woman. There is precious treasure and oil in the home of the wise, but a foolish person swallows it up. One who pursues righteousness and loyalty finds life, righteousness, and honor. A wise person scales the city of the mighty and brings down the stronghold in which they trust. One who guards his mouth and his tongue, guards his soul from troubles. Proud, arrogant, scoffer, are his names, one who acts with insolent pride. The desire of the lazy one puts him to death, for his hands refuse to work. All day long he is craving, while the righteous gives and does not hold back. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination, how much more when he brings it with evil intent. A false witness will perish, but a person who listens will speak forever. A wicked person displays a bold face, but as for the upright, he makes his way sure. There is no wisdom, no understanding, and no plan against the Lord. The horse is prepared for the day of battle, but the victory belongs to the Lord. A good name is to be more desired than great wealth, favor is better than silver and gold. The rich and the poor have a common bond, the Lord is the maker of them all. A prudent person sees evil and hides himself, but the naive proceed, and pay the penalty. The reward of humility in the fear of the Lord are riches, honor, and life. Thorns and snares are in the way of the perverse, one who guards himself will be far from them. Train up a child in the way he should go, even when he grows older he will not abandon it. The rich rules over the poor, and the borrower becomes the lender's slave. One who sows injustice will reap disaster, and the rod of his fury will perish. One who is generous will be blessed, because he gives some of his food to the poor. Drive out the scoffer, and strife will leave, even quarreling and dishonor will cease. One who loves purity of heart and whose speech is gracious, the king is his friend. The eyes of the Lord protect knowledge, but he overthrows the words of the treacherous person. The lazy one says, There is a lion outside, I will be killed in the streets. The mouth of an adulteress is a deep pit, he who is cursed of the Lord will fall into it. Foolishness is bound up in the heart of a child, the rod of discipline will remove it far from him. One who oppresses the poor to make more for himself, or gives to the rich, will only come to poverty. Extend your ear and hear the words of the wise, and apply your mind to my knowledge. For it will be pleasant if you keep them within you, so that they may be ready on your lips. So that your trust may be in the Lord, I have taught you today, you indeed. Have I not written to you excellent things of counsels and knowledge? To make you know the certainty of the words of truth, so that you may correctly answer him who sent you. Do not rob the poor because he is poor, nor crush the needy at the gate. For the Lord will plead their case and take the life of those who rob them. Do not make friends with a person given to anger, 
or go with a hot-tempered person. Or you will learn his ways and find a snare for yourself. Do not be among those who shake hands, among those who become guarantors for debts. If you have nothing with which to repay, why should he take your bed from under you? Do not move the ancient boundary which your fathers have set. Do you see a person skilled in his work? He will stand before kings, he will not stand before obscure people. When you sit down to dine with a ruler, consider carefully what is before you. And put a knife to your throat if you are a person of great appetite. Do not desire his delicacies, for it is deceptive food. Do not weary yourself to gain wealth, stop dwelling on it. When you set your eyes on it, it is gone. For wealth certainly makes itself wings like an eagle that flies toward the heavens. Do not eat the bread of a selfish person, or desire his delicacies. For as he thinks within himself, so he is. He says to you, Eat and drink. But his heart is not with you. You will vomit up the morsel you have eaten and waste your compliments. Do not speak to be heard by a fool, for he will despise the wisdom of your words. Do not move the ancient boundary or go into the fields of the fatherless. For their Redeemer is strong, he will plead their case against you. Apply your heart to discipline, and your ears to words of knowledge. Do not withhold discipline from a child, though you strike him with the rod, he will not die. You shall strike him with the rod and rescue his soul from Sheol. My son, if your heart is wise, my own heart also will be glad. And my innermost being will rejoice when your lips speak what is right. Do not let your heart envy sinners, but live in the fear of the Lord always. Certainly there is a future, and your hope will not be cut off. Listen, my son, and be wise, and direct your heart in the way. Do not be with heavy drinkers of wine, or with gluttonous eaters of meat. For the heavy drinker and the glutton will come to poverty, and drowsiness will clothe one with rags. Listen to your father, who fathered you, and do not despise your mother when she is old. Buy truth, and do not sell it, get wisdom, instruction, and understanding. The father of the righteous will greatly rejoice, and he who fathers a wise son will be glad in him. Let your father and your mother be glad, and let her rejoice who gave birth to you. Give me your heart, my son, and let your eyes delight in my ways. For a prostitute is a deep pit, and a strange woman is a narrow well. Certainly she lurks as a robber, and increases the treacherous among mankind. Who has woe? Who has sorrow? Who has contentions? Who has complaining? Who has wounds without cause? Who has red eyes? Those who linger long over wine, those who go to taste mixed wine. Do not look at wine when it is red, when it sparkles in the cup, when it goes down smoothly. In the end it bites like a snake and stings like a viper. Your eyes will see strange things and your mind will say perverse things. And you will be like one who lies down in the middle of the sea, or like one who lies down on the top of a mast. They struck me, but I did not become ill, they beat me but I did not know it. When will I awake? I will seek another drink. Do not be envious of evil people, nor desire to be with them. For their minds plot violence, and their lips talk of trouble. By wisdom a house is built, and by understanding it is established. And by knowledge the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. A wise man is strong, and a person of knowledge increases power. For by wise guidance you will wage war, and in an abundance of counselors there is victory. Wisdom is too exalted for a fool, 
he does not open his mouth at the gate. One who plans to do evil, people will call a schemer. The devising of foolishness is sin, and the scoffer is an abomination to humanity. If you show yourself lacking courage on the day of distress, your strength is meager. Rescue those who are being taken away to death, and those who are staggering to the slaughter, oh hold them back. If you say, see, we did not know this, does he who weighs the hearts not consider it? And does he who watches over your soul not know it? And will he not repay a person according to his work? My son, eat honey, for it is good, yes, the honey from the comb is sweet to your taste. Know that wisdom is the same for your soul, if you find it, then there will be a future, and your hope will not be cut off. Do not lie in ambush, you wicked person, against the home of the righteous, do not destroy his resting place. For a righteous person falls seven times and rises again, but the wicked stumble in time of disaster. Do not rejoice when your enemy falls, and do not let your heart rejoice when he stumbles. Otherwise, the Lord will see and be displeased, and turn his anger away from him. Do not get upset because of evildoers or be envious of the wicked. For there will be no future for the evil person, the lamp of the wicked will be put out. My son, fear the Lord and the King, do not get involved with those of high rank. For their disaster will rise suddenly, and who knows the ruin that can come from both of them. These also are sayings of the wise, to show partiality in judgment is not good. One who says to the wicked, You are righteous, peoples will curse him, nations will scold him. But for those who rebuke the wicked there will be delight, and a good blessing will come upon them. One who gives a right answer kisses the lips. Prepare your work outside, and make it ready for yourself in the field, afterward, then, build your house. Do not be a witness against your neighbor for no reason, and do not deceive with your lips. Do not say, I shall do the same to him as he has done to me, I will repay the person according to his work. I passed by the field of a lazy one, and by the vineyard of a person lacking sense. And behold, it was completely overgrown with weeds, its surface was covered with weeds, and its stone wall was broken down. When I saw, I reflected upon it, I looked, and received instruction. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. Then your poverty will come like a drifter, and your need like an armed man. These also are Proverbs of Solomon which the men of Hezekiah, king of Judah, transcribed. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter, but the glory of kings is to search out a matter. As the heavens for height and the earth for depth, so the heart of kings is unsearchable. Take away the impurities from the silver, and there comes out a vessel for the smith. Take away the wicked before the king, and his throne will be established in righteousness. Do not boast in the presence of the king, and do not stand in the same place as great people. For it is better that it be said to you, Come up here, than for you to be placed lower in the presence of the prince, whom your eyes have seen. Do not go out hastily to argue your case, otherwise, what will you do in the end, when your neighbor humiliates you? Argue your case with your neighbor, and do not reveal the secret of another. Or one who hears it will put you to shame, and the evil report about you will not pass away. Like apples of gold in settings of silver, is a word spoken at the proper time. Like an earring of gold and a jewelry piece of fine gold, is a wise person who offers rebukes to a listening ear. Like the cold of snow in the time of harvest is a faithful messenger to those who send him, for he refreshes the soul of his masters. Like clouds and wind without rain is a person who boasts of his gifts falsely. 
Through patience a ruler may be persuaded, and a gentle tongue breaks bone. Have you found honey? Eat only what you need, so that you do not have it in excess and vomit it. Let your foot rarely be in your neighbor's house, or he will become weary of you and hate you. Like a club, a sword, and a sharp arrow is a person who gives false testimony against his neighbor. Like a bad tooth and an unsteady foot is confidence in a treacherous person in time of trouble. Like one who takes off a garment on a cold day, or like vinegar on soda, is one who sings songs to a troubled heart. If your enemy is hungry, give him food to eat, and if he is thirsty, give him water to drink. For you will heap burning coals on his head, and the Lord will reward you. The north wind brings rain, and a gossiping tongue brings an angry face. It is better to live on a corner of the roof, than in a house shared with a contentious woman. Like cold water to a weary soul, so is good news from a distant land. Like a trampled spring in a polluted well, so is a righteous person who gives way before the wicked. It is not good to eat much honey, nor is it glory to search out one's own glory. Like a city that is broken into and without walls so is a person who has no self-control over his spirit. Like snow in summer and like rain in harvest, so honor is not fitting for a fool. Like a sparrow in its flitting, like a swallow in its flying, so a curse without cause does not come to rest. A whip is for the horse, a bridle for the donkey, and a rod for the back of fools. Do not answer a fool according to his foolishness, or you will also be like him. Answer a fool as his foolishness deserves, so that he will not be wise in his own eyes. One who sends a message by the hand of a fool chops off his own feet and drinks violence. Like useless legs to one who cannot walk, so is a proverb in the mouths of fools. Like one who binds a stone in a sling, so is one who gives honor to a fool. Like a thorn that sticks in the hand of a heavy drinker, so is a proverb in the mouths of fools. Like an archer who wounds everyone, so is one who hires a fool or hires those who pass by. Like a dog that returns to its vomit, so is a fool who repeats his foolishness. Do you see a person wise in his own eyes? There is more hope for a fool than for him. A lazy one says, there is a lion on the road. A lion is in the public square. As the door turns on its hinges, so does a lazy one on his bed. A lazy one buries his hand in the dish, he is weary of bringing it to his mouth again. A lazy one is wiser in his own eyes than seven people who can give a discreet answer. Like one who takes a dog by the ears, so is one who passes by and meddles with strife not belonging to him. Like a maniac who shoots flaming arrows, arrows, and death. So is a person who deceives his neighbor, and says, Was I not joking? For lack of wood the fire goes out, and where there is no gossiper, quarreling quiets down. Like charcoal to hot embers and wood to fire, so is a contentious person to kindle strife. The words of a gossiper are like dainty morsels, and they go down into the innermost parts of the body. Like an earthenware vessel overlaid with silver impurities are burning lips and a wicked heart. One who hates disguises it with his lips, but he harbors deceit in his heart. When he speaks graciously, do not believe him, because there are seven abominations in his heart. Though his hatred covers itself with deception, his wickedness will be revealed in the assembly. One who digs a pit will fall into it, and one who rolls a stone, it will come back on him. A lying tongue hates those it crushes, and a flattering mouth works ruin. Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring.
Let another praise you, and not your own mouth, a stranger, and not your own lips. A stone is heavy and the sand weighty, but the provocation of a fool is heavier than both of them. Wrath is fierce and anger is a flood, but who can stand before jealousy? Better is open rebuke than love that is concealed. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but deceitful are the kisses of an enemy. A satisfied person despises honey, but to a hungry person any bitter thing is sweet. Like a bird that wanders from its nest, so is a person who wanders from his home. Oil and perfume make the heart glad, and a person's advice is sweet to his friend. Do not abandon your friend or your father's friend, and do not go to your brother's house on the day of your disaster, better is a neighbor who is near than a brother far away. Be wise, my son, and make my heart glad, so that I may reply to one who taunts me. A prudent person sees evil and hides himself, but the naive proceed, and pay the penalty. Take his garment when he becomes a guarantor for a stranger, and for a foreign woman sees a pledge from him. One who blesses his friend with a loud voice early in the morning, it will be considered a curse to him. A constant dripping on a day of steady rain and a contentious woman are alike. He who would restrain her restrains the wind, and grasps oil with his right hand. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. One who tends the fig tree will eat its fruit, and one who cares for his master will be honored. As in water a face reflects the face, so the heart of a person reflects the person. Sheol and Abaddon are never satisfied, nor are the eyes of a person ever satisfied. The crucible is for silver and the furnace for gold, and each is tested by the praise accorded him. Though you pound the fool in a mortar with a pestle along with crushed grain, his foolishness still will not leave him. Know well the condition of your flocks, and pay attention to your herds. For riches are not forever, nor does a crown endure to all generations. When the grass disappears, the new growth is seen, and the herbs of the mountains are gathered in. The lambs will be for your clothing, and the goats will bring the price of a field. And there will be enough goat's milk for your food, for the food of your household, and sustenance for your attendants. The wicked flee when no one is pursuing, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Due to a wrongdoing of a land its leaders are many, but by a person of understanding and knowledge, so it endures. A poor man who oppresses the helpless is like a driving rain which leaves no food. Those who abandon the law praise the wicked, but those who keep the law strive against them. Evil people do not understand justice, but those who seek the Lord understand everything. Better is a poor person who walks in his integrity, than a person who is crooked, though he is rich. He who keeps the law is a discerning son, but he who is a companion of gluttons humiliates his father. One who increases his wealth by interest of any kind, collects it for one who is gracious to the poor. One who turns his ear away from listening to the law, even his prayer is an abomination. One who leads the upright astray in an evil way will himself fall into his own pit, but the blameless will inherit good. The rich person is wise in his own eyes, but the poor who has understanding sees through him. When the righteous triumph, there is great glory, but when the wicked rise, people hide themselves. One who conceals his wrongdoings will not prosper, but one who confesses and abandons them will find compassion. How blessed is the person who fears always, but one who hardens his heart will fall into disaster. Like a roaring lion and a rushing bear is a wicked ruler over a poor people. A leader who is a great oppressor lacks understanding, but a person who hates unjust gain will prolong his days. 
A person who is burdened with the guilt of human blood will be a fugitive until death, no one is to support him. One who walks blamelessly will receive help, but one who is crooked will fall all at once. One who works his land will have plenty of food, but one who follows empty pursuits will have plenty of poverty. A faithful person will abound with blessings, but one who hurries to be rich will not go unpunished. To show partiality is not good, because for a piece of bread a man will do wrong. A person with an evil eye hurries after wealth and does not know that poverty will come upon him. One who rebukes a person will afterward find more favor than one who flatters with the tongue. He who robs his father or his mother and says, There is no wrong done, is the companion of a person who destroys. An arrogant person stirs up strife, but one who trusts in the L will prosper. One who trusts in his own heart is a fool, but one who walks wisely will flee to safety. One who gives to the poor will never lack anything, but one who shuts his eyes will have many curses. When the wicked rise, people hide themselves, but when they perish, the righteous increase. A person often rebuked who becomes obstinate will suddenly be broken beyond remedy. Two when the righteous increase, the people rejoice, but when a wicked person rules, people groan. Three a man who loves wisdom makes his father glad, but he who involves himself with prostitutes wastes his wealth. The king gives stability to the land by justice, but a person who takes bribes ruins it. A man who flatters his neighbor is spreading a net for his steps. By wrongdoing an evil person is ensnared, but the righteous sings and rejoices. The righteous is concerned for the rights of the poor, the wicked does not understand such concern. Arrogant people inflame a city, but wise people turn away anger. When a wise person has a controversy with a foolish person, the foolish person either rages or laughs, and there is no rest. People of bloodshed hate the blameless person, but the upright are concerned for his life. A fool always loses his temper, but a wise person holds it back. If a ruler pays attention to falsehood, all his ministers become wicked. The poor person and the oppressor have this in common, the Lord gives light to the eyes of both. If a king judges the poor with truth, his throne will be established forever. The rod and a rebuke give wisdom, but a child who gets his own way brings shame to his mother. When the wicked increase, wrongdoing increases, but the righteous will see their downfall. Correct your son, and he will give you comfort, he will also delight your soul. Where there is no vision, the people are unrestrained, but happy is one who keeps the law. A slave will not be instructed by words alone, for though he understands, there will be no response. Do you see a person who is hasty with his words? There is more hope for a fool than for him. 21 One who pampers his slave from childhood will in the end find him to be rebellious. An angry person stirs up strife, and a hot-tempered person abounds in wrongdoing. A person's pride will bring him low, but a humble spirit will obtain honor. One who is a partner with a thief hates his own life, he hears the oath but tells nothing. The fear of man brings a snare, but one who trusts in the Lord will be protected. Many seek the ruler's favor, but justice for mankind comes from the Lord. An unjust person is an abomination to the righteous, and one who is upright in the way is an abomination to the wicked. The words of Aga the son of Jacob, the pronouncement. The man declares to Ithiel, to Ithiel and Yukal. I am certainly more stupid than any man, and I do not have the understanding of a man. Nor have I learned wisdom, nor do I have the knowledge of the Holy One. Who has ascended into heaven and descended? 
Who has gathered the wind in his fists? Who has wrapped the waters in his garment? Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name or his son's name? Surely you know. Every word of God is pure, he is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Do not add to his words or he will rebuke you, and you will be proved a liar. Two things I have asked of you, do not refuse me before I die. Keep deception and lies far from me, give me neither poverty nor riches, feed me with the food that is my portion. So that I will not be full and deny you and say, Who is the Lord? And that I will not become impoverished and steal, and profane the name of my God. Do not slander a slave to his master, or he will curse you and you will be found guilty. There is a kind of person who curses his father and does not bless his mother. There is a kind who is pure in his own eyes, yet is not washed from his filthiness. There is a kind, oh how lofty are his eyes! And his eyelids are raised in arrogance. There is a kind of person whose teeth are like swords and his jaw teeth like knives, to devour the poor from the earth and the needy from among mankind. The leech has two daughters, give and give. There are three things that will not be satisfied, for that will not say, enough. Sheol, the infertile womb, earth that is never satisfied with water, and fire that never says, enough. The eye that mocks a father and scorns a mother, the ravens of the valley will pick it out, and the young eagles will eat it. There are three things which are too wonderful for me, for which I do not understand. The way of the eagle in the sky, the way of a snake on a rock, the way of a ship in the middle of the sea, and the way of a man with a virgin. This is the way of an adulterous woman, she eats and wipes her mouth, and says, I have done no wrong. Under three things the earth quakes, and under four, it cannot endure. Under a slave when he becomes king, and a fool when he is satisfied with food. Under an unloved woman when she gets a husband, and a female servant when she dispossesses her mistress. For things are small on the earth, but they are exceedingly wise. The ants are not a strong people, but they prepare their food in the summer. The rock hyraxes are not a mighty people, yet they make their houses in the rocks. The locusts have no king, yet all of them go out in ranks. The lizard you may grasp with the hands, yet it is in king's palaces. There are three things which are stately in their march, even four which are stately when they walk. The lion, which is mighty among animals and does not retreat from anything. The strutting rooster or the male goat, and a king when his army is with him. If you have been foolish in exalting yourself, or if you have plotted evil, put your hand on your mouth. For the churning of milk produces butter, and pressing the nose produces blood, so the churning of anger produces strife. The words of King Lemuel, the pronouncement which his mother taught him. What, my son? And what, son of my womb? And what, son of my vows? Do not give your strength to women, or your ways to that which destroys kings. It is not for kings, Lemuel, it is not for kings to drink wine, or for rulers to desire intoxicating drink. Otherwise they will drink and forget what is decreed, and pervert the rights of all the needy. Give intoxicating drink to one who is perishing, and wine to one whose life is bitter. Let him drink and forget his poverty, and remember his trouble no more. Open your mouth for the people who cannot speak, for the rights of all the unfortunate. Open your mouth, judge righteously, and defend the rights of the poor and needy. An excellent wife, who can find her? For her worth is far above jewels. The heart of her husband trusts in her, 
and he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not evil all the days of her life. She looks for wool and linen, and works with her hands in delight. She is like merchant ships, she brings her food from afar. And she rises while it is still night and gives food to her household, and portions to her attendants. She considers a field and buys it, from her earnings she plants a vineyard. She surrounds her waist with strength and makes her arms strong. She senses that her profit is good, her lamp does not go out at night. She stretches out her hands to the distaff, and her hands grasp the spindle. She extends her hand to the poor, and she stretches out her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. She makes coverings for herself, her clothing is fine linen and purple. Her husband is known in the gates, when he sits among the elders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them, and supplies belts to the tradesmen. Strength and dignity are her clothing, and she smiles at the future. She opens her mouth in wisdom, and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. She watches over the activities of her household, and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and bless her, her husband also, and he praises her, saying, Many daughters have done nobly, but you excel them all. Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her the product of her hands, and let her works praise her in the gates.